Hi guys, welcome to this new video tutorial. In this video I will show you how you could easily fix the camera of a Lenovo computer not working for you. So to begin, what you want to do, you want to open your browser. As a next step, you want to type download drivers Lenovo E14 and hit enter. You might have a different Lenovo computer, so make sure to enter the exact model. So if you have T420, type T420 and press enter. So make sure to enter the exact model of the Lenovo. So download drivers Lenovo, put your edition of the computer. And here, these options will appear. So you want to click with the one showing the name of your computer. Or you want simply to click on the Lenovo one and we will be able to locate back. As a next step, you want to select manual update. If you are not able to see your computer, just make sure that you are in PC support. So we're going to type Lenovo PC support. Click on the official Lenovo website. Type the, the model of your computer. So and select the correct generation. So for me, it's this one. You can always check the box of your computer to know which one you have, driver and software. This is for the people who couldn't find the page. So manual update, select drivers. And here we will look for camera and card reader. You can always select operating system to ease your task and click then camera. Here, we want to download integrated camera driver. But first, we need to check the dates. So, for example, here, there is the first driver. The README is only a document. So, 19 May. And again, 19 May. 25 May. And here, we have 25 November. So, I will take the latest one, which is 25 November, and click Download. As a next step, in your search bar, type Device Manager. Click on the device manager. From the device manager, you will see the camera installed there. So right click, select update driver, browse my computer for drivers, browse. You need to locate where the download has occurred. So we're going to select the path and close it. We'll go back to our device manager and it was under download so i'm trying to locate my file this pc data download and click ok so you are just trying to locate the file where it's being saved make sure to select include subfolders and click next if it says the best drivers for your device already installed, what you want to do, you want to type camera in your search bar and try to check if the camera is working. If it's still not working for you, so what we are going to do as a next step, close. So disable device, uh, sorry, uh, remove and install device and install. This should uninstall the driver of the camera. It will ask if you want to restart your computer. You can go ahead and restart your computer. And what we're going to do for this stage, I will just say no for now. The camera has disappeared. So as a next step, I will go to the folder downloaded. And here we are going to double click or right click on the driver. And run as administrator. Yes, we are going. We are going to install it as an admin. Select the language and click OK. Click Next. Accept the agreement. You can read through, and then click Next. Install and click Next. Install. And here you will need to wait up to one minute as a maximum until the installation is completed. In our device manager, we should see back the camera. So here we have this wizard appearing, integrated camera, next.
we'll need to wait the operation actually took 30 seconds or 40 seconds so now we have it here it shows the camera click finish and click finish you might be prompted to restart your computer so that the changes are taking effect I will just click check for changes normally now it should detect my camera so after you have installed the driver just make sure to restart your computer go back to your search bar and type device manager check that the camera is appearing there normally it should appear again now what you will do you will go to your search bar and type camera and click on it normally your camera should be working I'm just covering mine with yellow paper now but yours should be fully working so in most cases this was the problem that the driver was outdated and an update was needed thank you guys for watching and talk to you soon in a new video tutorial